Hey, hi everyone. Good evening. So today uh, we'll start with the SAS. So we have few things left on the CSS. Uh, so I'll come to that later uh, today. So let's start with the SAS. Uh, SAS is actually a preprocessor language, uh, which is a updated version of CSS. So like CSS, uh, create a SAS file for the applying styles uh, for our application. Uh, today, uh, SAS are very useful uh, and it's uh, used everywhere in uh, all application. So SAS is one kind of uh, preprocessor. We have other preprocessor as well. We have LACE. So LACE and SAS, these are two preprocessor of the C. So today we'll learn about the, you know, about the SAS. So I'm sharing my screen. Is it visible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is SAS. OK, so uh, SAS type in .com. You will easily find it on the uh, Google. So, what is SAS? So, SAS is a, uh, I, as I already said, SAS is a preprocessor language. Okay. So, uh, go to the. So, what is preprocessing? So, preprocessing means uh, earlier. Uh, from last one week, we have learned how to uh, how to write CSS. So on SAS, we write uh, the C the styles in a different manner. And uh, before uh, uh, while uh, while the development or while the compiling uh, the project, the SAS will automatically compile into a, a CSS file and attach with the bundle, and it will work as a CSS file. So the advantage of SAS is we can uh, we can write the module wise. We can write uh, different different com for uh, different different SAS for different different component in Angular, in React, in everywhere. We can use SAS. Uh, so for example, if we uh, if we are we have a button component, we have a uh, button SAS on that SAS. We just uh, uh add that uh the chunk of uh styles for that button for uh, rather, uh or accordion we have a uh, uh, bunch of uh styles for the only for that accordion so which helps to accordion so looks and themes okay so while we compile compiling all this uh sas file it will create a, a css file hmm. and uh adding uh push them to the uh, application and that is uh, responsible for the whole uh, application uh, applications uh, theme. Right. So, so the full form of uh, SAS is uh, syntactically awesome style sheet. Uh, that is a full form of SAS. Okay, uh, the SAS uh, we are we learn about the SCSS, uh, which is a, a better version of SAS. Okay, so uh, on SAS. Uh, like CSS, uh, we have uh, variables, mixings, partials, uh, functions. So those things we know uh, one by one. Okay. So like uh, uh, we already uh, knew that uh, we we can use the variables on CSS. Uh, we already I already show you. Uh, we can declare that uh, local scope with local variable and global variable started with double hyphen then the variable name then we can assign the value to that variable and we can use that variable uh, to the to our uh, styles so similarly we have variables in a uh, sas we can uh, well, we can use them uh, on uh, the variable on the sas so on sas uh, we variable uh, we add variables like this so we that start with dollar okay and then primary color instead of double hyphen double hyphen uh, we use here the dollar sign for the 
the variables. So dollar sign and the primary color is a variable. We assume this is a variable and we assign the value at uh, hash 333 with the color value of that. So today we'll grow. Uh, we will go first that uh, theory of the uh, SAS, then I will come to uh, on the uh, actual implementation. So see the SCSS here, we have a primary assign a value primary color uh, the hash triple uh, three. And on the body, we have uh, added the variable like this. So color, then just use that variable name uh, primary color. So it is uh, it is uh, very easy to use that variable on the uh, SCSS. Uh, earlier we have uh, used the uh, variable on the CSS. So we have uh, like uh, how we use in CSS. Just checked day three before. So here uh, we use the variable like this way, okay. So that uh, like background color in var that is stands for variable, and inside that uh, first bracket uh, we have include that the variable name. But here we just we just uh, add that property which we want to use, and just directly put the variable name. On that property, assign that property or uh, assign that value uh, uh, variable name in the value. So, so when it is compiling, so it look like this body, then the font that. Uh, uh, so I'm showing you the color. So instead of that uh, primary color, in as three three three. So what is the difference between these two? So the main difference in these two, if if I run this, okay, variables and functions. Okay, so. See, uh, okay. so on the uh, on the in, in inspect side, if you if I inspect on the the container uh, and the background value is showing the the raw uh, the raw CSS is is shown in the implementation on the uh, inspect side. So I can see here the var then the value. So I can see the variable name here. But why when I compile, uh, when the uh, I uh, write my code on the SCSS, uh, that uh, if I inspect that uh, code, I will get only these things. So I I don't get that uh, raw uh, SAS on the inspect side. I will get this one, the ultimate finished product, the ultimate finished uh, CSS I will get on the inspect side. So that is the uh, difference between the SCSS and SAS. So I will SAS. Uh, I will break that SAS in many partials, uh, in many part, in many component. But when I when I check uh, when I check on the browser, I will get the ultimate CSS on the browser. So uh, this is the uh, variables part. Okay. So uh, on the next thing. So on uh, on the uh, the next thing is uh, nesting. Okay, so what is nesting? So nesting is nothing but a established relation between parent and child. Okay, so we already learned about the we already know the uh, the parent child relationship between element and the uh, tags. So how we can implement that? We already implement in last few classes, a few in few sessions. Okay, so we have a, a, a we have almost a good idea on that. So here we will uh, add those uh, uh, CSS uh, in uh, those uh, styles in SAS in a different way. So see, uh, let's check the last class. Okay, check here. So yesterday we have in nav menu. We we are creating a uh, we are creating a long relations between uh, the navigation the nav and then ul li all of this we are creating the relationship between the parent and the child 
uh, then the the sub child we are creating the relation in in scss we creating this relation uh, with, uh in a different way the that is the nesting thing so nesting mean we are keeping uh, one inside another tag so in scss see uh, in css we added like this nav ul then de declare the all property then a nav again nav li or nav evil li the the property and the value of that particular li mm. and then nav a is but on scss we are writing this way so we are writing nav the whole thing is nav this entire code is responsible for the entire nav so we add nav and the uh, within the uh, second bracket we mention the ul part okay then the ul is completed then we assign that we put keep that li which uh, which is uh, inside that nav we uh, uh, define that property and the value for that li so here if i if i write it in a uh, if i write in scss okay so create a scss file CSS is the uh, extension of the CSS file. So earlier it was style dot CSS, and now it is a CSS file. Okay. So I am creating uh, the whole thing on a S uh, CSS. Okay. So it is the nav part. Inside that nav. I am just writing inside that nav. So nav start from here and ends here. I am implementing the all the styles uh, of nav inside that nav classes itself. This is the evil. So let's start. Uh, is evil, okay? So then nav, then evil, okay? Now it is li which is inside that evil so nav evil li is inside that evil so i keep that i put that li inside the evil now if i uh, have something on anchor tag okay so i have to keep that on the inside that anchor tag. Okay. so whatever in uh, anchor tag a all i will add So see now the relationship nav then evil then li then a okay the exact things which i have here okay the complete thing i have written in sas the same thing here okay in it, it is a raw sas i i i don't use the variables and the mixings i will show you later how to use the mixings and all uh, that is very interesting so to, uh, I'm just showing you how to write the SAS, the basic uh, uh, thing of SAS. So I just bake it the uh, nav, entire nav element in the SAS. I kept nav, then evil, then inside that evil, we have li and evil. Now, if we have, if we have uh, a different li, okay, see, you have uh, now, uh, see, uh, we have first li first child a. So how we can write that in uh, SCSS? So it is a direct relationship with li, but that style will uh, for style is for the a. We don't get a here. So if I add CSS, uh, uh, if I add the uh, style here, it will it will add on the this a element, not on the first child of the li. This, I, I have to add the style, this style only for the first child of that li. So how I can do that? So to do that, I have to write this way. So I comes outside the li. I am now outside of the li, outside of the a. A close here. I am now 
outside of the A. Okay. Now I'm adding So nav, then evil, then li, then a. This is the for this is the li, then first child. So what is ampersand stands for? Ampersand is uh, nothing but it will add this to this one. This is uh, establish the relation with li and a. If I remove that ampersand. What is the difference between uh, the if I, I have put the ampersand and ampersand not? So then it will comes under the li inside that li with with this ampersand side sign. Okay, this uh, this first child we uh, adding uh, the adjoining with the li. It will join create the relationship direct with the li like just like that. Here the the difference is like this. So if I if I uh, if I add a space here, so then this uh, this will not select the first child of the li. So that is the dif that is the uh, difference here with with ampersand and without ampersand. If I if I remove that ampersand, it would imply the uh, this uh, uh, property and uh, this style to the inside the li. So whatever you have inside any uh, par in, in any parent, hmm, we have to uh, we have to add like this way. So li a without any ampersand side. If you directly add the uh, style or classes to the parent one, so you have to add the ampersand. You can add ampersand colon for the uh, child relation. If I need to add any classes to the parent one, so now I am adding a class. So ampersand dot active. In uh done so now see this active class will directly directly related to the li not with a okay so if i need to uh, if i need to add something uh, on the first child a then i have to mention inside the first child a first child so a uh, So this has a generic a property li, uh, li a property properties and uh, the styles okay these styles are are uh, apply for the all li inside that L, uh, all a inside that li but for the first child a this property will apply, apply this property will apply to the first child of the li so we can add uh, so whatever we can do on the CSS, the relationship, but the every kind of relationship we made on the CSS, that's the same thing we can create on the, we create on the LI. So uh, if I add, uh, do you had, uh, hmm. anyone can say what this means? Any one of you use uh, this kind of uh, relation in your uh, project? The forward arrow. Anyone? No, na. Okay. Fine. So this arrow means uh, the just just next to the parent element okay so this arrow define that the the child element which comes just next next to the parent okay so that kind of relationship we can make in sas as well okay 
So this called the nesting. This is the nesting thing. Okay. So we know how to add the uh, we know how to add the variable on the SAS, and we are now learned the nesting thing. The child parent child relation and the relation between tags and uh, divs. And I just show you the relation between you will, right? You can establish any relation between any tags or any your any of your class. So your if assume your parent have container class then you have a div you can use that div name inside that parent and then inside that you have p ulli anchor tag you have aside sidebar so all attribute all class you can whatever selector you have available in on on the css you can select them with the with the help of this uh, relationship uh, the nesting thing Okay, now the uh, partials. So, what is partials? Partials are the uh, partials are the uh, part of the CSS, as its name. The partial are the part partial file of the SAS. So, as I uh, explained you uh, earlier, so we have buttons. So, we can create a partials for the buttons and keep all the button related style there. It will be very easy to later. To identify if we want to change anything on that button styles, we just go to that partial button partial and change that. Okay. If you if you have anything on the uh, just like just think it is a uh, component wise. Okay. So we if we, we have any model, so all related model related uh, styles we kept on that model partials. If you need to change anything on that model, we just go to that model partials and change each and everything, and change the look and feel. So. Partials are started with underscore. Partials files are uh, uh, started with underscore. Okay, these are partials. So modules, I will show you. Uh, I will tell you later. Mixings are some functions. Uh, inheritance uh, use of mixings. Okay, so that's why that uh, these things I will show you tomorrow. Uh, so nesting and power variables I will show now. I we have created the SCSS file. Okay, so how we can how we can create uh, apply to our uh, apply to our uh, project? We have created our SCSS file very nicely, but we if we don't apply those uh, compile them and apply those our application until and unless we, <laughs> this is not useful to us. Okay, so now we uh, now we know how to. Uh, how to uh, create that uh, SCSS file to CSS? Okay, so for this, uh, we can we can use many ways. Uh, you can use uh, for the Angular and uh, for React site, React project. You can add that uh, that uh, module CSS SCSS module on your uh, application. Okay, npm install with help of npm install, and that uh, you just uh, add them uh, on the your JSON file. Uh, it will automatically compile whenever your project compile that CSS file will add and it will add to the project. So that way we can create that uh, that CSS file uh, in Angular and React project uh, do it with uh, 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 with help of the installing the the SAS on your project. So I will show you uh, step by step how to create the SAS file um, the CSS file from the SAS file on your local. Okay. So, so for this, uh, just go to uh, you all have the Visual Studio code. Just go to the extensions. Okay, see, uh, search with live SAS compiler. Okay, I have already installed on that on it on my machine. So, install live SAS compiler on your Visual Studio code. Mm. Once it installed. Uh, go to the live SAS compiler. Uh, yeah. So uh, you, uh, it is already on my system. It's so like this. Uh, remember this name live SAS compiler. Okay. Live SAS compiler. So you, if you have live SAS compiler on your uh, system, it is very easy uh, to install that um, uh, to create the SAS file, a CSS file from the SAS. When it installed on your system, you will get uh, you will get this uh, item here. 
watch SAS. Watch SAS. Okay. On your uh, bottom bar, you will get that. So on clicking on that bottom bar, uh, on clicking on that button, uh, it will automatically generate the CSS file. I'm clicking on that watch CSS. Okay. Watch SAS. So SAS is watching. Now let's see. Where is that SAS file actually? It is on here. You see? Okay, it is nowhere. Okay, fine. Um, so yes. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So we are on the uh, wrong folder. So it's not already compiled. Okay. So let's see, uh, remove those files. Okay. Ah. We have said nav.sas here. Now click on the watch us again. See, generated the, the output generated. So, what is generated? Nav.css.map. It is a map file. It has all the information related the, for the mapping. It is mapping the nav CSS to the nav SCSS file. So, it has all the information the nav CSS map uh, and the nav CSS. So, now CSS. See, so whatever we have created on uh, last day, so that kind of output we we get here. Then first nav nav ul, then nav ul li li a the first child first child a that team. So whatever we write on the CSS, uh, sorry, on the styles. So this kind the same output we will get here once we compile the SCSS file to the SAS. Okay, this is file to the SAS. So this way we can very easily uh, compile the SAS. We can compile the SAS in uh, three ways. The one is uh, the I already told you that uh, we can install the SAS on your uh, Angular and uh, React project. You can use that part. You can or you have any uh, other languages uh, uh, where you have uh, you you don't have uh, that uh functionality to compile sas on your project you can use this uh, this way you can uh, uh install that sas uh, scss compiler hmm. and uh with pressing that watching button it will automatically generate it now see the magic hmm. i'm creating uh app changing uh, i'm creating a new thing okay see that uh I'm creating a new module dot modal. Okay. And then uh modal body adding twenty pixel. Okay. So I just uh, write a few. I have just write the uh, modal, modal body, and pending, uh, padding, uh, 20 pixel adding to the modal body. And now I am saving the file. Okay. So once I press the control S or save the file, if that watching is running, so it will automatically compile every time whenever you're saving that file. And convert them to the SAS. Check the SAS. 
modal body adding 20 pixel is added it was not there earlier as a the watching is running okay so whenever you uh, save that file you edit and save that file it will automatically compile the sas and create the output css this is the second way uh, to compile the sas and the third way is uh, you can use a uh, uh, we have graphical uh, uh, application, a uh, 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 very small application that names Koala. Uh, we, we, uh, so you can use that also to compile the SAS. Use of Koala, you, you will get uh, compile the SAS. So just uh, write Koala CSS. Compiler. It is a GUI application for less and SAS. You can use the compile the SAS of, as well as less here. You with helping of this uh, application, you can uh, use this as well. The same thing is happened. So just you can you just add your uh, SCSS or less file and uh, click on the compile this button compile button. You will get the uh, your uh, desired CSS file on your uh, location desired location. So this, uh, with help of these uh, three ways, you can uh, compile the SAS. Okay. So any question from anyone till now? The SAS, the compilation, variable, and nesting. I'll show you three things, uh, four things. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah. Just uh, just share the um, uh, SAS file. Just mm -hmm. I have one query regarding that yeah uh, yes scroll down in model you can use that and yes so mm -hmm. and is basically dot model class right yeah so i uh, i i did not explain you how why i use like, like this way right so uh, you no, have no, no. actually uh, before i have used sas but uh -huh. i never used that uh, class for I have used for uh, uh, pseudo pseudo classes. Pseudo classes, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So uh, here I have uh, uh, break the uh, I have break the classes uh, like this. Okay. Why I break like this? That as a reason. Okay. So okay. yeah, you, you have a good question. So so now let me explain why I break this. Uh, so so for modal for uh, for model we have many classes like if i if i uh, use a uh, model we have model model header model heading modal body modal footer modal buttons okay so modal content this kind of cl classes we we use so every time okay so for that we can easily uh, break that classes like this so i have just uh, model and body okay now i have a class which has first first part is the first name of the class will be modal then i i add okay. so add uh, body then i h header okay so modal header so modal header i will add uh, background what happened let me stop the sas watching part so if i compile this so if i compile this okay so what will happen it will create two classes one is modal underscore body another is modal underscore header okay so on css i will uh, i will like write like this uh, watching where am i basics no? makes confusion yes sir So modal body and modal header. Let's check the set. Okay. So when it compiles, it comes in two classes: modal body, modal header. 
okay so whatever we need uh, for models we will create like this so okay i we will uh, write like this model body model header we have model footer as well okay model footer for more footer classes okay uh, model button we can add buttons you can use underscore hyphen all of them here okay so whatever you use that class name will be like that so you can use uh, underscore okay and then then footer underscore okay so then hyphen like this so you can do that or you can you can use multiple label you can go for multiple level as well so like uh this is modal header we have background color here inside that header uh, i am have i have h2 okay so on h2 i will add a class multiple i, I will add multiple class so what will how you can get the h2 dot large heading and inside that i can add uh, the property like uh, font size so if we, if i compile this css so how it look like uh, let's compile that. See, modal body, modal header, modal header, h2 dot large heading, h2 large heading. So you can use underscore uh, this way. You can break the, uh, the whole thing. So, so it is very later. You have you it it will help you to uh, find the exact class class or uh, find the relation very easily. That's why we use this kind of uh, thing, this kind of name and this kind of class. So everything related to the model that starts with model. Okay, I will I will show you the uh, one real life real life uh, project thing. So which uh, we are working on right now. So that gives you a very good idea. So that will uh, that will also help you to uh, help you understand better in a better way. Okay. So here, uh, so here, see uh, inside the assets folder, we have created multiple folder for individual element, fab icon, fonts, all all these for SAS files. Okay. So here, the SAS is started here. The SAS vendor. Okay, settings. So all it settings related sets are here. So we kept that uh, settings as colors, font, grid, icons, and layout. This is the main files. This is the main file. Inside that, we have added the color CSS, color SAS file. So these are the partials, colors, underscore the when I uh, uh, show you the uh, the partial, explain the partial. The partial starts with underscore. So underscore color dot says it is a partial files. Underscore font dot says are partials for fonts. These are partials for icon. Here we can mention all the related says. Okay. Now all these files I have added on the this file. I have imported colors, fonts, grid, icons, layout, responsive here. Okay, module wise, and then uh, then I call them on a um, settings. I think enhance file, right? Yeah. So I have added them on the another file. So if you go to the main app dot says, see that app dot says has only these links, nothing here. So it it just it just create the relations of the file. So import vendor settings. Okay. When let's go to one files. The if I go to the settings inside that settings, when inside I go to the inside the settings, we have multiple things. Inside that colors, we have only variables for the colors. So this these are variables for the colors. Okay. We have nothing here. 
so this is the module based uh, structure of sas to keep them small and whatever we need for that particular element or particular uh, component keep that in one place so later we can change and we can uh, find that very easily we can manage that project very in a very good way so whatever we need for the font so we kept that on the font partials so everything related to the font see here the we have used the font face oh, two kind of font we have used this is the for the more i common for the icons and the font face for the uh, the another one the which we use our project and the all the font size these are the these are the variables so large for the largest font size we have 56 px for the larger font size we have 48 px so all the font size we have in the, our application that are all kept in a different different variables to smallest to largest these are all variables so whenever i need the small file size i just write font size then put the variable name smallest it just it will work it will done for the the for the uh, other ones same so these are the these are the main uh, uh, variables files uh, i i am now showing you the grid here here see the it will be uh, difficult for you so see here we mentioned all the breakpoints for the responsiveness so breakpoint primary breakpoint tablets breakpoint mobile we have added the those in a mention in the, the create the variables for them and uh, use them in our applications so now i am going to uh, going to our uh, one of our mm, mm, inside that common see here uh, we we uh, we have created the the uh, for our uh, we are organizing this way uh, so 01 is when 00 vendor starting with the vendor settings tools generics elements we we kept them on a, a sequence wise and the same sequence we have created here okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so one by one that will end if i if i kept the branding okay before the vendor it may be create problem because that's why that sas has has written on the on the project so that's why this is the we have the sequence so this also covers that uh, the 7 is to 1 uh, the module structure and i am i am showing you the currently the module structure of the the sas how we how you organize your sas files creating partials add them you you just you, you you can very easily uh, uh, import uh, this is the this way you will import just import not url you have local files so in import and inside the double quote you just mention the path of the path of the file okay that will that will uh, include that file uh, on that so whenever you just compile this sas so it has nothing so it it you just only compile need to compile this file okay app dot sas and it will create the whole css for the application it is a very big application and it will create all the uh, css for the application it will it will uh, it will uh, uh, pull all the relation from the anywhere in any files and create the uh, create the css mm -hmm. branding responsive device okay so this way we can uh, create the uh, we can create variables we can uh, uh, make nesting we have already covered that partial you can uh, add the partials in your project okay and use them uh, you can use modules uh, module wise uh, you can use that uh, partials with a proper structure you can use them tomorrow i will show you the mixins uh, that will take time it has some complications so i uh, i will show you step by step how to create mixins mixins are actually uh, um, you can uh, uh, think it, it is a css functions okay we can write the functions uh, on uh, in mixings and we can use them in our applications uh, 
with include property. I will show you tomorrow how to create the includes uh, operators. I will show you. So, okay, fine. So I will show you how to use the compile the SAS. Okay, fine. Install part with command line code kit hammer library. Okay. NPM the fine. So I will show you the I will give you the basic idea of SAS. So how how to use SAS? What is the variable? Now let's uh, move uh, another thing, which is uh, left on that. that uh, before after thing. So before after thing, I will show you how to create a before after thing on the CSS. So let me close this. That was remain on the. There's there's this very in, interesting thing that was given on the. CSS part. Okay. So we have menu item here. Let me remove the this one. So we have created this menu uh, last day. So today I will show you uh, the two things, the before and after. So it will uh, help a lot you uh, in different different place. So before and after are two pseudo selector. So So uh, see uh, now I am adding a line. So just like uh, a line. Uh, a line before I have uh, I have added a uh, before uh, element pseudo element okay selector before of the li and adding some uh, thing. So Eli Eli has uh, Eli Eli relative. Okay. So before I adding position. Position absolute. Okay, it's an abscess. I just write position. Salute. Oh. Zero.
see here uh, we have created uh, added a arrow here in li okay so how we create that we add use the before selector every element has two selector uh, it has two selector before and after so whatever you use uh, you want to use uh, before that particular tag that is comes in uh, before if i use after it will comes uh, after the li so if i did this same thing on after okay so when it render it will come on after so earlier it will comes before the a now it comes after the a so that is the the process of rendering you can add both on one element on the before one element on the after so i added the arrow on the after element okay so uh, after about us it will come so i will use that property here and add my uh, css here i have add created a uh, arrow uh, uh, within with help of uh, css so i have created arrow with help of border and the border with you. you can create a triangle uh, you can create a circle out always as as well so you can create a uh, triangle you can create an arrow with help of css mm. i i just use the those things which i uh, already show you that uh, this will it will not require at all now so transform uh, property the animation property rotate 45 degree uh, so use the before and after you must include this one okay content so what is the content now it is content is blank so if i remove this one uh, this thing okay if i remove uh, this uh, this section okay and inside that content i write uh, content this is content okay so see uh, refresh that so whatever content i will put inside that content that will come on the before and after so i kept that blank because i uh, use i use that content uh, tag for the placeholder and instead of any content we i added a arrow on there on on that place of content so i kept that blank intentionally so using that uh, this content tag in content property you can uh, add you can um, add any content append any content to any uh, li okay so i kept that content and you can you can style as well those things so you if you want to uh, it's font size 8 pix 8 pixel and color is okay so see the content will this can the content is available so you can do many things with this uh, with help of these things you can create uh, uh, styles for the main navigation you can add uh, uh, very uh, beautiful animations uh, with help of uh, this before and after uh, if you remember i i told you that we can uh, we can customize uh, the checkbox and the radio buttons with help of css so how we can do that we can do that with help of this before and after content so we hide that checkbox element uh, check the checkbox that um, particular html tag from the uh, browser and instead of that we uh, use the placeholder before and after with that uh, one that uh, outer circle inner circle and we can uh, use uh, customized style to that uh, checkbox and radio button with help of this uh, before and after so this before and after thing is very helpful while we uh, doing the uh, css so you can add styles to any tag we have two more selector inside that tag uh, it will add a um, uh, level of flexibility uh, for the uh, HTML UI developer to create uh, customized things. So you can create the particular tag 
inside that tag we can select you can add a uh, two more you, you have two more selector so work on that so you can add styles for them and you can do many more things which uh, before and after okay so like visited uh, hover as a anchor have a few more properties hover uh, that browsers uh, uh, specific property uh, default property hover visited uh, that focus that's after and before is that kind of property at uh, the default property provided by the uh, browser so you can use them okay so this is the use of before and after uh, you can use them as a that you can use them uh, to create the uh, bulleted style mode style bullet style you can add image on the uh, bullet style uh, default you can uh, if you have cleared um, list item so default list had some black circles so instead of black circles you can use image so how can you use it you can use that image on the that before property or after property. just use background inside the url function add that image add that path add that image abc uh, abc dot png and no repeat and left from zero top from zero with with this you can use on that image to the li element as a bullet point so these are some uh some tricks uh you can use few of them already use this kind of uh tricks on your uh, uh regular uh ui building thing so work on them so tomorrow we'll go uh we will learn uh, mixins and uh the inheritance property of the uh, SAS, uh, how to how to work on the uh, use the uh, the operator uh, property uh, of the SAS. Okay, so those things we can uh, learn uh, one by one from tomorrow. And uh, operator uh, extend extend thing we will learn tomorrow inheritance. So and operators. These are few things we will learn tomorrow regarding the SAS. So, okay. So, any question from anyone? Uh, hi, Pritam. Yeah. Uh, I have one question. Mm -hmm. If we are in using SAS, so mm -hmm. uh, I have um, there is a one checkbox. Mm -hmm. After check, uh, when we checkbox is checked, I need to give one focus in parent element. So how can do uh, do this in SAS? Mm, you you have to select that parent element. Yeah. Uh -huh. After uh, yes, checkbox uh -huh. is a child element, and I uh, you, want you can you can select that check check item. So you can select uh, input colon check. You have a pseudo element pseudo class uh, dot check. So with that property, you can check that check property. So uh, that yes, the they, checkbox they, is check or yeah. not that you can check. That is, a, uh, I got that thing, but uh, how can you the focus on parent element in SAS? CSS I have done, but in SAS, how can the possible? Because we are uh, in SAS, uh, the parent element and inside of that checkbox. Mm -hmm. so, so you you can you can do that with SAS. Just uh, just uh, like the uh, what is the SAS? Yeah. So I am using this kind of thing now nah, with. Yeah. Uh, you with select with uh, select the next element so just use the this one this kind of thing okay so ampersand okay so with help of this you can select the parent element as well in sas yeah, okay the sign of okay yeah. got it okay so you can select the parent element of the uh, you, you want to go upside so you can select that element parent element uh, from that uh, property relationship, uh, so, and you can apply that CSS. Okay. okay, I will try. If you face difficulties, so I will yeah, yeah, yeah. reach out to tomorrow. Yeah, sure. yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Any question from anyone?
check the uh, check this with link okay this uh, saslang.com uh, you will get a good idea uh, regarding the sas so from later onward tomorrow onwards i will sh show you how to uh, write this all these things especially mixing is a very good thing so uh, as much as you use variable and mixing on your sas that will uh, make your sas uh, more and more dynamic so mixing is a very good thing so i will explain tomorrow the mixing thing uh, so, Pritam, can you share this link in chat? Uh, yes, chat sure, sure. So, I am okay. sharing this link uh, on the um, on the React uh, on the training. Sorry, the training uh, one. Where is that? Yeah, this one. This. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. So, so see you tomorrow all. So let's conclude the call. Thank you, yeah. everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.